This is the uh, free edition of uh, Click Team Fusion, and I'm gonna show you how to make um, uh, something that you can play forever, pretty much like Flappy Bird kind of thing, uh, using the uh, free version of Click Team Fusion. But this is uh, super simple, these sprites are terrible. So as I mentioned, this is the uh, free version, and this allows you to export to HTML5. Uh, I posted a video on how to transform this to EXE if you wanted to. Um, or to an Android game if you really want to push it. Um, yeah, I'm not discouraging people from buying the full version. I'm just saying that you could make exe files from this too if you wanted to. You can download this example from the link down below. So we're gonna start right from zero. Uh, if you uh, run the frame, you will notice that nothing happens because uh, there is nothing in the um, event editor. Okay, here's my object, just a regular object, and I have an animation here for the character dying, just a blood splatter or something, like, pixelated. And this here is... Uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> you can make that whatever you want. Uh, let's make this a platform object, and set the speed to, I don't know, like, mm, 60 or something more concern here is the gravity uh, make that um, 40 or maybe even 30 and uh, jump strength maybe 60 yeah event editor and uh, let's create a collision with the background if uh, my god I forgot how to use this software already so collision with the backdrop we can get this to stop all right there we go, that, that seems to work fine. I don't know if there's enough jump there to avoid the um, incoming balls or fireballs or whatever you want to make them. Maybe make this jump a bit higher. Set that to 70. And jump. I can shift the jump. You can change that, I think. I'm not sure if you can. Uh, that's kind of alright. I mean, just for now, just for this example. Okay, so let's make this a um, static physics object. You need to throw the um, phys physics engine in here, which is here somewhere. Place it anywhere on the screen and that should work fine, except for it has no collision with the background, which we're going to create right now. Collision with the backdrop, uh, you can stop. Okay, that 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 should work. Okay, let me add a um uh, a fan here. Not like a football fan, just just like a regular fan. Okay, it's not really working. So that's because uh, our angle is set to up. Let's try this. Oh, it's now moving a little bit. It needs more strength, maybe something crazy like three hundred and something, forty, whatever. Ooh, that works fine. I like that. Uh, place our rock over there. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty good. So what we can do now is uh, create a bunch of those every so often. So you can um, every I don't know, three, every three seconds you can create a um, one of those. Um, things over here and they will continue to drop every three seconds maybe three seconds is uh, too much uh, I have a counter here I gotta set to a thousand you can change it to whatever you want and that's because it's going to be milliseconds okay every uh, use calculation here right, what's going on here zero Use calculation, and we're gonna use the um, uh, the value from that counter, which is 1,000 milliseconds, and that translates to one second each. Uh, you can randomize it too if you wanted to. Let me just do that. It will be the value random range, maybe from uh, 900 milliseconds to uh, maybe 2500 milliseconds, which is two and a half seconds, I believe. And that seems to work fine. 
But for the second value, probably use the actual counter. Current value, so that would be cut this and paste it in here. And make this one. I don't know if that works like that. Let me just try it out. That should give us a different the values there, not. So what you can do it's um so it gets faster, I mean or more frequent. You could um every time one of these leaves the um the play area. I think there is something called test position here. Um if the object is upside, you could um decrease from this counter. to do subtract uh, maybe one from it okay that's way too much <laughs> but it's just to prove my point that now they are going to start coming coming more frequently so what I can do is I can uh, create two counters his counter here and set this one also to um, initial value to a thousand two as well. Okay, this is counter three. I could change the icon so you can see the difference. Oops, there you go. All right. Um, so under the random value, we can um, just go to random value, and the first uh, value will be this counter, and the second value will be this one here. So I could just get the um, I got mixed up here. Okay, cut this one here and place it on the maximum. And this will be our minimum. Let's paste that there. So that should work fine. Right now it's like a thousand thousand. So it's literally just one second. Okay, now they're starting to come way, <laughs> way too fast, right? We could have like a, a minimum there. Um, let's make our character die, okay? Let's um, assign a collision to this collision with another object. We can destroy our character. And if we destroy the character, we can restart the frame. Uh, say, for example, we have zero of this. Um, this object we can restart the coordinate frame okay and the um, dying animation should play by itself you can see that they are starting to get faster now you could elaborate on this and uh, add sounds to these add better graphics uh, make this a mobile game or whatever you wanted to um, but that's pretty much the idea. Uh, you could create um, something that doesn't actually end. There's no end to the game. It will like get to the point where you can you can't uh, keep going because it's too hard. I mean, you could add a limit uh, to this. Right now, to uh, to win or to set some sort of a score, you could probably add. Um, every time this leaves the play area, you could probably add one to the, um, to the other counter. So that would be your score. So you get like 
20 something points every time. Okay. Uh, one thing you could do to make it look like we're moving or something or like it's running infinite kind of thing. Um, let me just change these to a solid color. Set that to, um, I don't know, like gray or something. Or it, the thing's already gray, maybe black. And you can have little objects that um, are moving. Like I said, some bouncing balls or something to, and just have them wrap around the um, the area. So that way, it will look like it's, I don't know, moving or something. Maybe it's smaller. Made that a bouncing ball. Uh, do they still have bouncing ball? They still have it there. They haven't changed that. The software has not been updated. Uh, I mean, changed. And I said updated. The thing is updated all the time. And it hasn't been changed in a while. So, so that is going to move that way there. And. So uh, when that leaves the uh, play area, we could uh, simply wrap around the play area. This position, where is the position thingy? Uh, say this leaves the play area on the left. You could simply just, I don't know, wrap the, uh, the position of the object. Uh, how do you do that? I forget. <laughs> wrap around the play area. Play this now. Now it doesn't look like it's moving right now, but we we're gonna achieve that now by adding a bunch of those. Let me see. Do -do 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 -do. Like so. Just a few more. There we go. So let me make another layer in the background here. And uh, let me add some um, active objects. Again, it's going to be bouncing belts. These are going to be buildings there. Give us some windows. There's our cheesy uh, buildings. Let me enable the grid here so we can align those. And snap to grid. I have to be the same size. There you go. Enable uh, this. Putting this higher. And these two will be bouncing balls. Same idea. Bouncing balls, speed 60 something, doesn't really matter. Maybe like very slow, like 20 or something. And the initial direction uh, that way there like that and make them wrapped around the play area as well uh, instead of doing just um, copy this and replace the object and wrap this instead all right one thing I'm gonna change is that um, it's almost like he's gliding. I'm gonna make him run or something. Double so click on this and I don't know, like copy and paste this frame. Half of it. Push this. Um, loop this. <laughs> That's where it looks lame. Let me try this. Uh, okay. 
That seems fine there. I think the animation might be a bit too uh, too fast. Um, speed maybe like forty or something, maybe thirty. Okay. You could even have a jumping animation if you really wanted to. Okay, so that's how you can make a uh, infinite game, simple infinite game, in using uh, Click Team Fusion 2.5. Alright, so smack the like button and see you guys in the next video. Bye now.